Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. And today we're going to go rip out a large driveway, get it all set up, ready for concrete for tomorrow morning. Uh, the weather looks just perfect this week again. There's a little bit of drizzle forecast for today, but it doesn't matter. We're not pouring concrete anyway today. One shout out uh, here to Dave Teffer. Dave is from Cape Cod, and you, some of you might remember him. He brought his 90-year-old Marine veteran father to a job site last year. We just had a good time. We were cracking up. You re might remember that video from last year. I think they're going to come and join us again this year. But anyways, Dave sent me uh, a chunk of concrete, which is pretty cool, something that I love. So this is from a pour that he did last week. And he didn't just send me a cup of concrete. He actually exposed the aggregate, and he sealed it. So he uh, he did it right. Thanks, Dave. You already know how I love concrete, so this will go down in my office. All right, it's about 5.41. I'm going to take the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. Hi, Dad. How are you? Good. Jewel. House blend. Empty. How are you doing? Good. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you today? Great. Great. Okay, it is 6:11. I am just pulling into the yard. <clears throat> See who's here. Daryl's here. Bugs is here. I think that's it for now. Jade's here. Morning. Say good morning. Come on, Jade. There she is. There she is. Wow. I lost the key to the Crown Vic. Yeah, right. No, I did. I lost it. No, you did not. I did. I left it. Neat. No, I gave it to No, her. you didn't lose it. I lost it. So yesterday we had a guest in our house, uh -huh. one of the girl's friends. Uh -huh. And I was gonna take them all to church. My truck had a bunch of stuff in it. I was like, let's take the Crown Vic. So I had the key off the key ring because I gave it to you. So I grabbed the key, it was in my hand. Then I went outside, cleaned the car out, completely cleaned the car out, brought stuff to the car, did all kinds of stuff. And then it was, out of, it was gone out of my hand. So I threw it in the garbage or it fell in the grass or something. I looked everywhere, I cannot find the key. It's the only key I have. No, they don't use the VIN number. They use tools oh, in the lock, tools the lock. And they can actually make a new key. Because okay. that one doesn't have a chip or anything. Right. Francisco's here! Good morning, Francisco. Morning. You're going to take the Mac, Mike? Take Mac? Yeah. See what's in there. I don't even know. Okay. Eric's oh, here. Here, I think. Hey, look at Eric's walking like he's a big shot. Yeah. I think Saturday got to his head. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, why are you walking like a big shot? <laughs> did, did Saturday go straight to your head? No. I hope not. No, I didn't. Better not. Because you were walking with like a little bit of a limp. Did you <laughs> see that? <laughs> Marcel's here. He must have got his van running again. It wasn't running? I think the fuel pump was out or something. Good morning. Good morning. I sent you the address. We don't really need the trailer. Yeah, I'm going to pull outside. All right. Huh? Did you no, we're setting up a big driveway. <laughs> Man, the, the sounds that guy makes, I'm telling you. All right, it is 6.30 on the head, and we are leaving the yard. That's what I like. 6.30 is start time, and we're leaving the yard at 6.30. That is perfect. There's nothing to load today. The driveway is uh, it's straightforward. All two by fours. It's just a it's just a big asphalt removal. It's got a big stump we gotta take out. Should be very easy. However, it is Monday, so all right, we are on the job and we are definitely gonna have parking problems here, which I already knew. Because we're on the crest of a hill, people are flying by, and it's a very narrow street. So yeah, they do fly by cars coming through right now this guy warned me so this is going to be a bit of a pain but we'll work it out bugs park in front 
don't want anybody parking on that side because when I'm loading the dump truck, that's my only view of the hill. Go park on a side street. This is way too busy. And you're right on the crest of the hill right now. All right, I'm waiting for Francisco and Eric. And I'm sure they're at the gas station going to the bathroom. Because they have my paint. And I got to paint this out with the guy. We're going to reconfigure this on this side. And I, I was here like a year ago to give him this bid. And I don't remember what we were doing. Obviously, he's driving over this. We're probably filling some of this in. I just don't remember. Morning. Morning, you're early. Of course. It's better than being late. How's it going? Good. Good. When my guys get here uh, with the form truck, I'll grab some paint because I know we were kind of re reconfiguring some of this over here, right? Yeah. So we'll paint that out before we get started. Okay. So the plan is we'll we'll rip it out, get it set up today, and then tomorrow we'll pour most, if not all, of it. The weather's supposed to be perfect. So. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's. I was camping nice the last out. two days. I wanted weather like this. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah, it was drizzling and kind of. So. Yeah. Bugs, right? Yes, sir. See? You're all famous now, Mike. Mike, <laughs> nice to meet you. Show by my TV there. Uh, yeah, just just on a there's a side street there too. Yeah, okay. yeah right. Yeah, for now. I just want to avoid any problems or for right now. You want to go more on an angle? Just so that you can come in. Oh, okay. And go park. With this road, it's really hard to park. Yeah. Anybody comes over. Yeah. Go over like eight more inches, and then you're gonna hit about right here. Over to the left eight inches? Yeah, just for a digging line. Should be very easy. Very, very easy. We'll just throw this in the dump truck tomorrow. We'll slap the concrete on the ground and collect the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If yeah. it were if it were only that easy, That's right? There's only two of you here, right? Yeah, right. No, the other guys are there they are. No, I know. They must got done finishing in the bathroom. You guys use the bathroom on the clock and then you buy me this. Wow. Hey, you guys should back up a little so the tree's not like right where we got to walk up and down the truck. <laughs> Alright, that's the plan. We're going to knock off. This is a huge driveway. This is massive here. People are inviting me to different states to pour concrete with my guys and they're willing to pay for us to come. I just don't know if I want to do that. I got invited to bring the guys to Canada to pour a driveway recently. I just don't know if I want to get into all that. It's a lot of, ha especially leaving the country, and we all need uh, visas and all that stuff, passports or whatever. <laughs> Francisco's like, that's, that's a big driveway. It, it is a big driveway, though. It goes all the way to here. <laughs> it's huge. What's your name? Winter. Winter. Nice. I thought I'd come out and have her meet everybody. In her yeah. Meet. So we're going to let Daryl the Destroyer run the Bobcat today, if that's oh, okay boy. with you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, He's I like... Need, I need my power, my internet. <laughs> uh. All right, we're good to go. Just a big old driveway. He's got a camper. If you're wondering why he wants such a big driveway, he's got a camper, truck, some other vehicles. So he wants to be able to park the camper in here nice. Right now he struggles with what he has. Hey, why don't you just sell it to me for 2,500 cash? Then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Not today? No. Oh. Got 26,000 miles. What kind of car is it? BMW Z3. Oh, nice. All right, Marcel's just grabbing the breaker for the skid loader. And I'm going to start making some noise. We're ready to go here. Autumn's on her way. Man, we've had some nice weather lately. All week again. I hope it gets warmer next week. This is the perfect August. I've never had one like this. Yeah, you missed everything. I know, man. You missed all the heat in June and July. Came back and cooled off. Yep. Use our basement bathroom. Oh, okay. We usually just pee in the bushes in the neighbor's house. So. Hey, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. If it's really, really thin, I'll just peel it up with the bucket. But usually, if it's like three inches or so, I'll just break it into pieces. It's easier. I do it both ways, whatever I think is going to be more efficient. Because if it's real thick, sometimes it doesn't break in the dump truck, then you end up with huge pieces. You waste dump truck space and it takes more loads. It's it's kind of a balance. You just make a decision as you go. Not today. Come on. No. Why? 
Why? This guy gave me specific instructions. No, no destroyer in the Come Bobcat. Right <laughs> Come on, thanks for the crew, it's a memory. <laughs> Yeah, he handed it to me. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? It's the whole crew. Hey, if I see this on eBay later. <laughs> it could be on eBay. Authentic. With the video clip of the signature, that's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> the authentication. Exactly. Is it leaking? Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Oh, look it. Look it. Whoa. Man. Monday. What? Monday! So what is, I was like, what is yeah, it? Yeah, it's bad. You know what? Let me break a hole in the middle of the driveway and I'll just peel it up. It's not yeah, not real thick anyway. No. I was wondering what that smell was. That was right I was wondering what was going on because it's already uh, 710 and I didn't have no disasters <laughs> yet. So there you go. Somebody said I can't like talk negative about Monday. That's why everything yeah, bad happens. I speak like negativity that. into the day. This thing's got some roots. What is that? What is that? Is that concrete? That's not wood. Is there railroad ties? Steel? I don't know, it's strong though. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Well, that's interesting. I was wondering why this thing was so hard to get out. It's got artificial root system. Yeah, I know what it was. <laughs> See it? Put that on my truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, how are you going to get the wood off? That's crazy. I'll just cut it. I'll just cut it right there and whatever comes out of the belly. All right. I'm going to push it a little bit. Man, I was like, how is this little tree so hard to get out? Oh, I'm like, what is wrong? Like, I take stumps out twice that size. It's not that hard. This thing is heavy. <laughs> yeah, that thing's crazy. to get that gravel like moved more over to the side of the road it's sticking out almost all it is it's taking the whole entire lane it's a little bit of a pain here but we'll make it work we'll get it as long as the police don't show up it is rush hour right now big time i gotta get this gravel off the road autumn's here here with the broom. Sweep this up. Morning Autumn. That's it, hi. Well. Ask him if he wants to keep these. That's one thing I didn't ask him. Ask him if he wants to keep those. You want to keep those? I mean for future use or where do you want them stacked? We'll stack them for you on top of the wall. Yeah. Stack them nice you guys. Don't throw them up there. Make nice Not little, like this. yeah, nice Not little. Like <laughs> Steel's pretty good right now, right? Yeah. Scrap prices are pretty high right now, I guess. Bugs is trying to cut the wood. He wants every ounce of that steel beam right there. Those kind of blades don't cut wood very well at all, though.
back that is full of asphalt. Daryl's pulling up the tandem. So far, the only thing that's gone wrong is that hydraulic leak. So that's really not bad. All right, Daryl's lined up. Let's get him loaded. Once I get out, once I get him loaded, we'll run strings. And then he can set a little bit. We'll kind of grade and take out as we go. Bugs is going to the doctor tomorrow for a shoulder in the morning. I didn't know about it until now. So our first pour is going to be without him. But we'll be all right. I got to run up to the gas station run. Right? Yeah. Insane. I think Eric's wearing off on you. No, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> is that our table or did he bring that out? He brought it out. Oh, nice. Table and chairs. I know. For Fest by Monday. Oh yeah, that's right. She is coming. He forgot. Now he's all happy. Yeah, I see that. I told my mom if she would have been at the meetup, she would have been signing autographs. And she was like, "Come on!" I said, "I'm serious. You would have been signing autographs." That the, the Gross or Gross family. So yeah, I should shout out. Thank you very much. When we were at the meetup, uh, this family here gave us each a quick trip gift card and they wrote us all a very personal note on each one hope your finger is doing better yeah. thank you very much <laughs> thank you yeah he was, awesome. he, was he was a good guy he was a retired guy too yeah that was awesome man i see you guys over there signing autographs and i was like this is unbelievable i didn't know what to write either so <laughs> hey, I went to go get I went to go get food and Adam came and she was like, You gotta sign these now. And like he was looking for us to sign these. I gotta go use the bathroom anyway. I'm gonna go to the gas station. I feel like you guys now. I'll be back in like three hours. Man, Mike's back already? I know. Man. I gotta go play around. He doesn't play. No. Alright, I'm letting Daryl run the skid loader for a little bit. It's wide open down here. There's really nothing that he can destroy, so I feel pretty good. Jade's chilling. Jade, the concrete dog, she loves coming to work with us. She loves it. She whimpers when we're pouring because she wants to get in there, but we can't let you in there. Nope. We got cones here at the crest of the hill. We got a barricade with a slow sign. I'm gonna go tip this cone back up. Somebody hit it, but I think we should be in good shape. gas station. Daryl's got a bunch more asphalt out. I think I should give him the heave ho. <laughs> hey! Dude, do not stand in the grade when... Get out! He almost just killed you, man. Yes. Your butt was right there, and he had no idea you were there. You gotta remember, Daryl is not me. And I am not Daryl. It would have happened on a Monday, Four too. Days before vacation, man. Right. On, man. Just hold it really tight. I'll put a pin up to where he can fit forms. You guys can put forms there, put the radius in there, get that started. Don't shoot on my knee board, you bonehead. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Jade likes to chew stuff. treat under there give me the asphalt first some kind of post or something in there mike he could go dump that yep. it's an old light base what yeah I'll, I'll get it out i think this is all low i'm just gonna skim the sod off Let's see what we got. Pretty sure this is all quite low. We never want to pour on top of anything organic like grass or weeds. Because it'll rot away under your concrete and leave a hole. Concrete will settle out on you. All right, so we just ran the string down the lot line, figuring out where we're going to put the forms. That looks good, Bugs. And we're good. 
This side we're going to have to stack some lumber because it looks like it's going to be about eight inches off the ground where it's at its lowest point, right? That's right. Man, I can't believe you almost killed Francisco. I didn't almost kill Francis. He jumped in my way. He knows when machines run you always stay out of the way. I mean, that's a rule of thumb. When you're on a job site, I don't care who it is, all the employees should know that you stay away from the machine because you're, you're going. You don't want you don't have time to stop and look every time. You know your past, what you're doing. Are you the safety guy? Yeah. Daryl's the safety guy. We're all screwed. Yeah, exactly. Hi! Hans! You're supposed to be working! Yeah. Hey, are you the Easy Money family? The famous Easy Money family? Wow. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Maki. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Joanna. Coming. Hi Grace. Coming. You guys better go. You're in the way. Bye. Hey, I just saw that famous Easy Money family. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's all I, saw. I know. It's got to level this off. Why is there concrete right where I want to put a pin? <laughs> yep, yep. Her last oh, week. School. Oh, college. Back to school. Back to school. I'll become the videographer. Man, right on already. Man, I wonder if we should run and get some two by twelve or something. I think we got twelve at the yard, don't we? Because this is super high. I'll go get some. I think there's some at the yard. Yeah. Yeah. Why? He'll be back in five minutes. That's all I got. I got two by twelves at the yard. Stuff? No. Him and Eric can't go. No. <laughs> no. You got the worst two by fours ever. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this thing. Yeah. That's it's right on. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna make a radius, it's right on. A nice bowl. Did you get those for bendy boards? This is how high you are out of the ground right now. I just want to show you how high it is on this side if we keep it level, exactly level with that side. I don't have it pitched this way right now. That's why I brought you out here. Do you right. want do you I can knock this down like absolutely two or three inches here yeah but you're still gonna have it's still gonna be still up gonna be high. yeah it's still yeah. gonna be high i just this is level that's what i wanted to show you okay so i'll pitch it off to this corner okay. well that's the way the road goes so right. that's that's all your natural drain drainage yeah but i'll show you even yeah. i've dropped that three inches you're still pretty high so you're gonna have to either build it up with dirt or be really careful you don't drive the camper right off the edge I'm gonna knock this down a few inches so you get a better idea of what it'll look like. I'm gonna go about. I don't wanna slope it too much. That's about as, you know, you still want a mild pitch. You don't wanna go crazy. All right. Yep. Yeah, Cause it gets better. It gets, once you get here, it gets better. All right, I just wanna show you what was going on. All right. No surprises. It's going good though. No accidents out here yet either. Almost. Daryl almost killed Francisco. He ran him over with the skid loader. <laughs> <laughs> right, Eric? Yeah, yeah but cool. I kicked him out, so we were good. What are you guys doing? Fixing, Fixing it. It's are you guys trying to make hours? It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like a $10 string. I'll pay you guys like $150 an hour <laughs> to fix the string. All right, I got this side dug down pretty close. I'm going to check it. I don't know if I'm deep enough right there by that tree, but I'm going to check it out. You guys are setting some 2x12s on that side because it's up so high. I did put some fill along there. He'll just have to keep filling it up and kind of grade it down. We're not going to finish that over there, uh, but we are going to make it nice and thick. I want that sitting real close to like virgin soil, so it won't have a tendency to settle over there. So let's see what we got on this side. It's going to be close. Oh, we're good. We're good. So this side's ready to set now, too. Really didn't get into the roots too much in these trees. Got in a couple smaller ones here. One there, and that was it. I thought we were going to have a big root ball on our hands, but we really didn't. These trees should be fine. All right, all the pitches look good. The road's on a hill like this. So we're gonna pitch the whole driveway just, it's coming out, and then we're gonna angle it off right there down to that gully. Just a little bit, about an eighth of a bubble going that way. You barely notice it, but the water will all drain off that quarter and down the road. We just gotta finish the forms out and grade it, compact it. 
You know what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, once homeowners see what we actually do, they can't believe how expensive it was. In fact, I was trying to warn my wife. I'm like, yeah, he's going to take a whole bunch of money from us. He's going to be here two days. And she goes, that's not long enough. And I go, it doesn't seem like this. <laughs> All right, I've been calling around. I'm trying to find somebody that can make a key for the Crown Vic because I lost the key. 2012 Crown Vic. We, we should be able to make a key to that. All right. Yeah, there's no chip or anything. It was just a really plain, you know, square key. Can we be there uh, probably... I guess in the next couple hours we could be over there. No way. You're the best, man. We'll get over there today. Man, okay. you're you're the man. All right, that's awesome. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Yes! I found a guy that's going to make a key. He's going to be over to my house in two hours, he said. All right, they're just about done with that side. This one's going easy, hey, Adam? What'd you say? So far, we don't really have hardly anything else to do. set the height here for these boards run up some strings so they can finish the last couple forms and then we have a lot of gravel to bring in a lot of gravel that cow manure would pull the poison right out of there wait Fresh wait cow, yeah what uh, did you just say if you stepped on a nail your mom would put cow manure on it yeah either that or a uh, bread and milk it's <laughs> called the bread look it up bread and milk poultice you take yeah. bread you sop it in milk you put it on the bottom of your foot you wrap it up by morning it draws that poison. That's good. Right if, you, if you guys ever step on a nail, you're never going to get work, Miss Comp. You don't want to I'll be like, come over here. I got some bread and milk. <laughs> we got manure, Fresh. boys. Fresh. Yeah, no, you'd get cow manure. <laughs> oh, come on. I've good. never heard of that. Oh, man. yeah. I would think you would get on an infection from cow manure, right? <laughs> All the time. No, it had to be fresh, though, for some reason. Fresh All manure? All right, that's it. Ready? Yep, it's ready. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this. All right, we did a couple lifts here. Compacted it. There was quite a bit of gravel over there. But we should be good now just to go ahead and grade and do a final compacting. one driveway I did years ago we took it out there was footings everywhere I was so frustrated 
That was probably the most frustrated I've ever gotten out of job. I, I took the garage down, I demoed the garage, and the back wall, the side wall actually, it fell down onto, <laughs> I tried to collapse it in, and the one wall was like, Err! it fell right on the neighbor's bushes. The mean one, she was yelling at me. She was like, you guys don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and I was and I was already frustrated. Then I started taking the driveway out, and then there was f big footings everywhere. I was so mad. And the guys were all just standing me, watch me, trying to break the footings out. They were like four feet deep and they're right at the surface. I was so mad. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll get the breaker. I knew there was gonna be something. I knew it. We're almost closed, look. I know, we're almost done. Concrete. Well, it is a footing for something. I'll put the breaker on. We should just cut it. Put a string back a little bit, make sure we're good with five inches here. And this thing's leaking hydraulic fluid all over when I use the breaker, so we'll see what we got here. Concrete! Oh, it's just another driveway. Come on. I could have been worse. Could have been a four foot thick footing. Hey, look who finally came back. Wow, three hours. Darren, where have you been? Don't try to act all cheery. Uh, you're here before Ma. You should have came with Ma for lunch. Yep. That's it. Could have been worse. Footings are a real pain to take out of the ground. And that was just old driveway. big road close sign we just close all the streets that we're working on don't be even ever know no nope. it's 11 36 that's so fast we could have had concrete here at noon <laughs> yeah could have had concrete here at noon and dumped the whole thing in one shot i think daryl purposely tries to make people mad in the street giving them like confusing hand signals and stepping out in front of them Look at them out there. Francisco, you should probably leave with that space shovel now. You probably should leave with that space shovel. Yeah, it's not really helping that much. All right, we're done. Just gotta tidy up the edges, throw all this stuff away. That's it. Just about lunchtime. I did not expect us to get done this fast. I was figuring like a 2, 2.30 kind of day. That's unbelievable. It went so fast. Oh my goodness, this is some heavy duty steel. It's quarter inch thick. What? It's not even hooked to the latch anymore. That's the problem. I, I can't even see it. It's, I don't know, even, it's gone. I even got Graham's. Oh, yes. That was Graham's first autograph right there. I'm going to have her. Hey, we should all say that we want her autograph on our hats today. Make her feel special. Everybody has for me. Like, yeah, Graham's. So we got to grab a hold of that thing and pull it or we're never gonna get this thing open. That rod right there. What kind of pliers do we have? No, it's stuck now. Now it's like jammed in there because it turned. What if we just cut the bed off, Mike, and put a new bed on? There you go. And then we could put a new toolbox. Got it, we put a whole new bed on, all welded custom. New pin boxes. 
I, I welded press. all this stuff. I know, I can see it. We can go here in an angle and hit it, it might. You could try it. I... Ah! Yes! Told you! Told you! Ryan, who came with that glue? Who do you think? Me. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Who's the man? Hey, Who's Francisco the said he fixed it. Ah. Oh, hey, who wow. it? How many people does it take to fix a gate? Ten. Ten. Five. Yeah. Grandma's here! It's best mom Monday. Look at you, Bugs! Bugs! Is this your safety flag? All right. That's probably the best safety flag there is. If that steel comes off on the freeway, I feel sorry for the person behind you. <laughs> Hi, Otto. Hi. Did Grandma do a good job? Yeah. Hey, there's enough for you, Paul. No thanks. Oh, Stay. wow. Right, Stay. In. right in Grandma's Stay. heart. I, I, right. I know. <laughs> Salad. You just fed the dog off your fork and now... That's gross, oh, Daryl. No. <laughs> he just fed the dog with his fork. The dog was licking it. I know. Yeah, but he might have just gave her a disease, though. Yep. Right. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to pick all this stuff up. All right, we're all done. It's all set up. We just had lunch with Groms. That was super easy, air. Super easy. Really wasn't too many problems here. Just uh, just a couple, but for a Monday that wasn't bad at all. My mom's just about to leave. Like almost eight to nine thousand people. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Don't they look similar? Twin. Oh, Daryl doesn't even look. What'd you say? I don't know how you can trust him to ride stuff like that. What could possibly go wrong? We better go before something bad happens. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. We'll be back in the morning. <laughs>